Honorable colleagues, today is Moldova's National Flag Day. The flag is a symbol of national sovereignty and independence, the very sovereignty that has been trembled by the boot of Russian soldiers for more than 30 years now, the very sovereignty that Ukraine is so bravely defending while also keeping us safe. Therefore, Moldovans have stood with Ukraine and will continue to do so, having welcomed the largest number of refugees per capita. We have earned the title of a small country with a big heart. While Russia, forgive my pun, is a big country with no heart. We in Moldova know sufficiently about Russian malign influence to say that we have had enough. Promotion of separatism, energy blackmail, media propaganda, instrumentalization of the church, and most cynically, the weaponization of poverty by fugitive oligarchs who are all too eager to play the Kremlin's bidding in order to avoid prison. Similarly, other pro-Russian politicians in Moldova can't wait for the toppling of the current legitimate government in order to return the Russian boot to Moldova to help them oppress the Moldovan people. Enough. It's time for international sanctions against these fugitive oligarchs and any other stooges who might want to destabilize Moldova. Moldovans have made their choice. The choice to live in democracy with freedom and safety. The choice is made every day when implementing crucial, difficult reforms in the judiciary, building resilience in state institutions, including in the security and defense sector. This choice will be on display loud and clear on May 21st, when Moldovans will gather to a national rally in support of European integration. This demonstration of unity will be followed by the European Political Community Summit on June 1st, which will put Moldova in the center of Europe. This display of solidarity, determination, and unity must continue with the opening of EU accession negotiations. As long as we are all united, no amount of Russian influence is able to break the free spirit of the Moldovan people, and no amount of Russian brutality will be able to stop Ukraine from winning and pursuing its rightful place in the free world. Thank you, dear colleagues, all representatives of political groups for such a united position in support of Republic of Moldova's European integration and against the Russian malign influence in Moldova. And thanks to Mr. Zingaris for initiating this debate. Thank you.